Es una entrevista que le hizo el equipo de la televisión pública que estuvo en Estados Unidos cubriendo las elecciones a Todd Gitling, que es el director del doctorado en periodismo de la Universidad de Columbia y que habló también de estos temas. We have seen a campaign devoted to ugliness and nastiness, to nativism and insult, to demagoguery on an unprecedented scale. And I'm speaking here of one candidate because Hillary Clinton has been running a normal campaign. Uh, she's unusual, in fact, unprecedented as a woman running for president. But her style of campaigning, her approach to issues is, I would say, on the high end of seriousness. She's not demagogic. She's not um, that exciting, actually, to many of her supporters. However, Trump's campaign is uh, taking place in a different universe in which Anything can be said. It doesn't have to be true. He doesn't even have to believe it to be true. His followers are so passionate uh, as to be uh, delusional. And what is uh, remarkable is how the media in general have furthered his ambitions. Um, they've, he has played on their vulnerabilities, on their hunger for spectacle. Um, he has exploited their gullibilities uh, and in a kind of collaboration, a kind of symbiosis of candidate and, and media, uh, he has uh, turned our politics upside down. It's had a, this, Trump's campaign has, has had a horrible effect on America. It has um, win or lose. He has uh, elevated racism and um, xenophobia, anti-Semitism, uh, uh, hatred of immigrants, uh, hatred of Muslims, to a degree that no presidential candidate in certainly no major party political candidate has uh, taken up in, in more than a century. He has uh, shattered the uh, journalistic illusion that if you simply ask a question of a journal of a politician and the politician gives an answer you can just let it speak for itself and therefore it has driven many journalists to consider whether they're actually doing their job as truth tellers if they simply relay what he has to say it has thrown the norms of political journalism into disarray Do I think there's racism in America? Of course there's racism in America. There's racism uh, uh, in every country in the world. But um, what has happened during this campaign is that um, antagonisms, uh, bigotry, which were considered out of bounds, considered uh, in need of being held private, considered uh, embarrassing, are now out in the open. Trump has flashed a green light for the bigots to come out in the open and bark. Well, the Black Lives Matter movement um, was and remains a movement with considerable popular support, um, and it will go on. Um, the Trump movement has decided to demonize the demonstrators. Uh, has decided to side with the worst elements in the police, who are not the only elements in the police, but the most embattled, the most racist. Um, he decided to run a law and order campaign, um, and he wants to be seen as the young man. He wants to be, he wants to be Putin. He wants to be uh, uh, Hugo Chavez. He wants to be. Uh, Uh, he wants to be a, he wants to be Mussolini. He wants to be uh, uh, the man who can solve all problems and who must be granted uh, all available powers.